Almost seven days ago, two of the greatest YouTube videos on my channel were taken down by YouTube. Big Chungus, the first video I had that hit over a million views. Gone forever, never to be seen again. Some people let these things happen to them, shed a tear and move on. And some people spend $1,000 turning the videos that YouTube took down from their channel into a real life video game. I am one of those people. Hear my plea. Rest in peace, Chungus. Ladies and gentlemen, for those of you who are new to this channel, basically the two big Chungus videos I uploaded roughly a month ago, one had 3.8 million views and the other had 1.4 million views, got taken down by YouTube. Currently, the internal investigation team of YouTube YouTube is taking a look at why exactly they took my two videos down. Now that YouTube has officially killed Ooh. Big Chungus and the legacy it left behind, I think it's my rightful duty as the guardian of Big Chungus to revive it once again. So I spent $1,000 on developing an application that showcases none other than Big Chungus as the main protagonist in his own video game. <laughs> Yes, you heard me right. I know, the meme is beyond dead. But basically, after I released those two videos, they did really well, you guys really liked them. I thought that making a game with Big Chungus would be the best way to finish off the series. Little did I know, it actually takes time, money, resources, etc., to make this sort of thing happen, and especially happen in such a short period of time. But alas, here is Big Chungus, the game. I have not played the video game yet. Today, in this video, I'm going to download my own game, and play it. And for those of you who don't know what Big Chungus is exactly, it's literally just this fat Bugs Bunny that became this crazy viral Reddit meme and may or may not be the greatest video game of all time. But before we get into playing it, a lot of you might be wondering, Tyler, how exactly did you make this game with no coding knowledge and no real talent? Aww. So basically me being the skillless individual that I am, I first opened up a Google document and I started writing out the storyline, the character the setting, etc. And here's what I came up with. Main character, Big Chungus. Video game type, 3D platformer with shooter elements and a predominant function that allows you to grow bigger the more you eat. How the game works slash the plot of the game. Big Chungus breaks out of a test tube and enters a wasteland as a normal sized rabbit, roaring like a lion. As Big Chungus walks along a linear path, he finds his first carrot along the way. And after walking into it, he eats it. And by eating the carrot, his size incrementally increases. By eating this carrot, he's strong enough to punch down a massive wall that wraps around the entire wasteland, giving him access to the prairie lands. The prairie lands are lush and covered with green mountainy areas littered with carrots all over the place. Once Big Chungus enters the prairies, the gods from the heavens send him a Thompson submachine gun, aka a Tommy machine gun, that levitates from the sky into his hands. The gods echo the name of the gun as the Chunga Chapa. In parentheses, this gun looks like the image below and functions as a machine gun that Big Chungus can use to kill enemies that drop carrots that he can eat. Now that Big Chungus is equipped with the Chunga Chapa, he now goes around destroying enemies that appear as if they are human hunters. They will look similar to this image below. Although we changed the image for legal reasons, of course. Randomly propagated throughout the entire prairie lands, these human hunters walk around with shotguns and try to kill you as the main character, Big Chungus. Your goal is to avoid these human hunters or destroy them while collecting carrots that increase the size of your character. Once you consume 100 carrots, you are large enough to punch down a small mountain that blocks your path. As the mountain goes flying in the air, a massive enemy hunter with a sword and a tom machine gun blocks your path, forcing you to fight him in a boss battle. You fight the boss, who is named Largest Consumer of Rabbits, Timothy the Conqueror. I came up with this name 40 days ago. I'm proud of myself. After you defeat this boss battle, Timothy the Conqueror drops a syringe full of steroids, an item that floats on the ground that you must walk into that is labeled quote unquote bad boy juice. Your character, Big Chungus, injects himself with the syringe full of growth juice, and he grows to become extremely 
extremely large in size, growing so tall his body towers over the clouds. As your character, Big Chungus, looks at the clouds around him, a flock of dragons and flying dinosaurs begin to shoot fireballs at him, and Big Chungus is forced to use a bow and arrow that the gods present to him to destroy all the flying creatures and collect their carrots. Jesus, this is complicated. The god also presents to Big Chungus a pair of wings from the heavens. At this point, Big Chungus can fly and shoot arrows. As Big Chungus destroys the flying dinosaurs and dragons collecting their carrots, here are what the dinosaur and dragon spread should look like. Aww. As Big Chungus flies around the sky, destroying flying dinosaurs and dragons, he collects their carrots once they die. Once he collects another 100 carrots, he becomes so large his body eclipses the planet and he walks across the earth like a giant, seeing eye to eye with the moon orbiting the very planet he lives on. In this state, the game prompts you to eat the moon. You either agree or disagree. If you disagree, the game says you're an idiot and nothing happens and you will return to that prompt again. If you agree, your character, Big Chungus, sucks the moon into his mouth and a massive explosion cutscene occurs. As Big Chungus falls down from space, his size dramatically decreases and he lands on a cellar door that one of the hunters has just nailed shut. As the hunter walks away, you are given the option to open the cellar. You agree and you punch through the cellar door and fall down an extremely long hole. As you are falling through the hole, you land in a dark room. A light turns on and the only thing you can see are posters all over the wall that say, subscribe to Tyler Oliveira. Yes, that is what I wanted the game to be like. Those were my intentions for this game and how I wanted it to turn out. While in reality, my $1,000 went towards the development of this game. Now let's play the game from beginning to end and you guys can make your decision as to whether the game that was made accurately reflected what I paid for and what I wanted this game to become. Let's play. So I logged on to this game. Imagine this, put yourself in my shoes. I have literally been waiting 40 days to see how the developer would have taken my thoughts. He said he could completely turn them into my reality. I paid him and here's the product that I received. I'm playing the game. Just, just watch this game for a little bit. Oh, you, you think there's more? Guess what? That's the game. That is the entirety of the game at its core, fundamentally speaking. This is the game I've been waiting a month and a third to see how it turned out. This is the game I spent $1,000 on. Moral of the story, don't outsource your work to untrustworthy Moroccan developers, I suppose. I don't know. What? My game actually sucked. Even this virtual reality headset won't allow me to escape from the sad reality that is my life. In all seriousness though, I have hours and hours worth of dialogue between myself and the developer I used describing what I wanted from the game, how he could give it to me exactly, what I had to pay. Maybe I'm being a little bit exaggerative due to the fact that I'm extremely distraught, sad, and under impressed with what I've received. In all honesty though, the game's kind of fun as like an arcade type game just to like play, run around as the rabbit, get bigger, but there's none of the adventure story aspects I wanted to add into the game, which makes me really upset because that's what I was looking forward to. I spent $1,000 to go through this entire game, play the game, and none of it came to fruition. And then I had to pay $25 to Google to allow myself to put it on their Google Play Store. And then I had to pay an additional $100 to Apple to allow this app, this awesome app, to be on their App Store. And here I am. Here's the deal, guys. I made this game for you guys. This game is free to download on the Google Play Store and iOS. Honestly, this game, good or bad, will memorialize the impact Big Chungus has had on this channel. This game is a token of my gratitude from me to you. I think I'm gonna be asking for a refund from this guy. I don't know how that's gonna play out considering he gave me something, a fraction of what I asked for, a fraction of what I paid for for that matter. So wish me luck in that experience. If you guys are actually interested in downloading the game, the link will be in the description below. But if you do actually download the game, I wanna say I'm sorry in advance if you don't enjoy it. It's free to download don't even sweat it there aren't any ads or anything so just enjoy the game for what it is keywords here for what it is and if you do download it 
help a failing tech entrepreneur out and gently approach that subscribe button and give it a delicate pelvic thrust, if you will. And of course, don't forget to gently tap that like button if you like this video and comment below what you would have wanted from me in terms of Big Chungus the game and how it would have turned out. Not that I could have made that a reality considering that thousand dollars in a dream turned into this app. So also one last thing regarding my two Big Chungus videos that were downloaded. I know a lot of people have been asking me, Tyler, where's the Chungus? Where's the Chungus? Where's it gone? What happened to the Chungus? And I will say, I do not know. YouTube has yet to get back to me. I'm going to keep you guys updated. Don't even sweat it. Worst case, I lose the videos. I have them obviously in my, my possession. They're downloaded now, but I don't know if they'll be on YouTube. And once I figure out what the issue is, if anything, then I can fix that error and re-upload them to YouTube some point down in the future. And with that being said, guys, deuces.